G'day, it's Chris Betcher here. I would like to take you through the organizational units aspect of the administration console for G Suite. And this is a really important part of getting your G Suite set up in a way that uh, is really easy to manage and lets you actually control things in the way you'd like to control them. Um, the organizational structure is key to actually allowing your users to be able to do the things you want them to do and not do the things you don't want them to do. Um, and once you get the organizational structure right, everything else follows from there. So I'm in the console here. It's, it's, it's the administration console at admin.google.com. If I go to organizational units, which is one of the modules in here, you'll see it brings up, this is the what's called the OU structure. And OUs are really just containers. And they can have OUs or organizational units inside other organizational units. And you can structure them much the way that you would structure folders in a, in a file server. So um, for example, if I go down here, you see I've got an OU here called My School, which is actually a member of the root OU, which is in this case, the domain name for this site, gaif.me. So under the root, I've got a number of OUs, and I also have some OUs with other OUs underneath them, which have other OUs underneath them, which have other OUs underneath them, and so on. And the important concept here is inheritance. And that means that whatever, if I make a change to the settings at this top level, it applies to everything below. If I go and make a change to the settings in one of the OUs underneath, I override the setting from above. So this idea of having a setting that's applied to an OU, if you don't change it as it goes down that, that tree, uh, it will just inherit from above unless you specifically override it. Now, why is that really important? Well, I'll show you in another video as we go through that. I just want to make sure you understand the structures of OUs for a start. So you can see we have OUs inside OUs. And um, how do you make a new? How do you create new structures in here? Well, I go to this big yellow button up here where it says create new organizational unit. And if I click that, you can see I can create a new one. So you see I've got year six, year seven, year eight here. Let's create a year nine. So it's year zero nine. Uh, I like to give it a description. We'll call it OU for year nine. And where do you want it to go? What is the parent organizational unit? The parent being the one above it, the one it's inheriting from. Now, in this case, it is I want to put it underneath students. So I'll click on the little pencil icon here. It brings up my structure, and I look for uh, my school, students. I just select students, so it's got the gray box around it, and say done. And now, when I create the year 9 OU, it will be underneath students. So let's do that. Hit Create. And you can see that now, if I go back to my school, students. I now have an OU here for year nine, and I can put things in there or create sub OUs or whatever. So that's a really important concept. Now, what happens if you want to move an OU? What happens if it's in the wrong spot? Well, for example, I've got one here called samples, and maybe I want to put samples uh, in here under users. So what I can do, let me just move my video here. You notice when I mouse over any of these OUs, I get a few options at the end here for controlling how this works. And there's one here with a picture of a folder with an arrow, and it says move organizational unit. So if I want to put samples underneath users, I'd simply go to samples, click move organizational unit, find the one I put it under, which is users, this one here, and say continue, and it will then move uh, now, it gives you a little warning here. And what it's saying here is that when I move it underneath this one called users, the users OU may have settings turned on or off. And when I put sample underneath user, it will actually inherit. And what, so it's just giving a little warning here saying some servers may not be turned on. Um, and so just as just long as you're aware of it, okay? It does always say here, this change may take up to 24 hours to take effect. I don't know why it says that because things happen almost instantly all the time. So pretty much ignore that. I say move and you'll notice now samples is underneath users. So that there, that very important concept, make that bigger, that very important concept that you just saw there of creating an organizational unit, unit structure that models the structure that you want in your school. There are no real right or wrong answers for how you do this. Um, it's pretty common to have school, students, staff, and structure it that way. It doesn't have to be. It can be whatever makes sense for you. The important concept is that there is this idea of inheritance, that whatever settings you apply to, a, to an OU is inherited by the ones below, unless you go to the one below and override it, which I'll show you how to do in another video.